Hello everybody, and this video I'm doing is the first of my um, Super Amiga 500, and I'll get to that in a moment here. Um, I'm selling this Amiga 500 on my website, and you can see it's fairly clean, it's not yellowed in any way, and but this is not a regular Amiga 500. If we pull it aside, you will see that instead of a floppy drive, it has an SD card in it. So it's got the SD card uh, converter. And if we turn it around again here, oops, paper, uh, you will see that we have an Indivision ACA. Uh, or sorry, an Indivision um, ECS uh, uh, VGA adapter on it. And ignore this switch because uh, it's coming out. It was for a ROM adapter, but the ROM adapter and everything else inside doesn't fit. Um, I've been told that this has Kipper 2's uh, 8 meg uh, uh, ID adapter card in it. And it's got a compact flash card in. And either my second video, I will take it apart and show you all the insides. But first, I'm just going to pause this thing. And then we're going to hook it up to a VGA monitor. And we're going to boot and see what happens. Alright, so I'm just going to go ahead and turn it on here. Uh, come up with the Indivision ECS screen. And you can hear the floppy drive emulator working in the background and we got our 3.1. Let's see, get some hard drive. So you can see we got eight, almost nine. Clock's not set because there is no battery backup in this unit. Uh, press exit to clear. All right. So uh, where's the system? storage uh, utilities clock where's my uh, tools show config So, normal NTSA, normal Denise, 6800, 8 megs of memory. Uh, so, yeah, the person who actually buys this will want to. Uh, set everything up here to their specifications of course preferences oh. Seven hours to use. December. This calendar's off. Oops. 
It is Saturday. Oh, it's the 28th. Uh, and it is 3. Fifteen, twenty-five. All right. So hopefully that'll give you a little bit of an idea of what's going on there. It seems fairly quick for Workbench anyways. It's the first time I get to play with Workbench uh, on a um, on a 500. Uh, Workbench 3.1 on a 500. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to turn it off and I'm going to insert the SD card that comes with it. And then turn it back on and see it boots the SD card. Check C flop, H C flop in. All right. We have applications. Let's see what's in the application. Bin. Exit out of here. Oh, just the in division. All right. Let's go back. See what's in the games. Well, we got some games here. Let's see if we can get uh, amazing Sp Spider Man up. It's not. Hmm. Selected file to slot A. F7 and restart the computer into this disk. See that come up? There's no sound because I don't have uh, uh, any speakers plugged into it. So.
<laughs> supposed to be MJ and Mysterio. Can't cycle through these screens. Well, anyways, you get the idea. Um, again, the uh, Amiga 500 that you see here is on for sale on my store at store.amigalounge.com. Um, you can always email me because the store is closed as of January 1st, but the system's still for sale. So if you need to email me, you can email me and uh, sure, we'll go from there. Anyways, thanks and have a good day.